Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this St. John's University Undergraduate Admission Information Session. My name is Francine Mayoni, and I'm the Campus Visit Coordinator at the Undergraduate Admissions Welcome Center. I'm also the mom of a high school junior currently looking for his best fit university, so I can totally relate to how exciting yet overwhelming this process can be for you and your families. That being said, I'm really happy you've chosen to learn more about St. John's University, where our focus is on you and elevating your education. So who are we and how do we do that? Well, we are proud to be Catholic, Vincentian, Metropolitan, and Global. Although we as a university and just under 50% of our students do identify as Catholic, you are certainly not required to be. We're welcoming to students, faculty, and staff of all faiths and backgrounds, and we credit our diversity in enriching the student experience here. We were founded in 1870 by the Congregation of the Mission, who followed the teachings of the patron saint of charity, St. Vincent de Paul. It's our belief that students grow and become more successful through serving others. So community service and outreach is a major part of the student experience, both inside and outside of the classroom. Now, while it may not look like it when you walk through our gates, you are in New York City. We offer the best of both worlds with a traditional college campus, but with all of the benefits of a major metropolitan city. 40% of our students travel and explore the world through our global study and exchange programs, and we have campuses abroad in Rome, Paris, and Limerick. Plus, because New York City is the melting pot, there's also a very strong global presence felt right here on our campus. Now, let's review some stats for those of you who process info by the numbers. Our first number is 19,663. That's the number of students currently enrolled at St. John's. We're considered a large university with a breakdown of about 15,500 undergraduate students and about 4,000 graduate students. Of those, about 3,000 call St. John's home and they live on our beautiful 102 acre campus. Next, we're going to look at the number 16 to one. That's our student to faculty ratio. So why is this important? This benefits you greatly as it ensures that you are seen and heard by your professors. Also to your advantage, our average class size is at 26 students. Next, we'll look at 45 and 118. These numbers happen to be of the greatest importance to my own son in finding his best fit. Our community is comprised of students from 45 US states and territories, as well as 118 countries around the world. In the wise words of my 16 year old son, what will I learn if I surround myself with people who look and think exactly like I do? I think I'd be doing myself a disservice. Hmm, something to think about when you're making your own choices. Next, I'm going to speak to my student athletes out there and our sports fans. For over a hundred years, St. John's has carried a proud tradition in athletics. With 17 Division I teams as part of the Big East Conference, we have approximately 300 student athletes. We offer a wide range of team sports for both men and women. We're all about team spirit here on campus, so much so that we even have an official student spirit organization known as Red Zone. With giveaways and leading cheers and hyping up the crowds, they create an exciting experience at our sporting events. I don't know, if you happen to be a basketball fan, you may have heard about our new coach, Rick Patino, who he's leading our Red Storm basketball team into what promises to be a really exciting season. So if you're not into sports, no problem. With over 180 student-run organizations, there are so many ways for you to find your people here at St. John's. We know that you're so much more than your major, and we wanna see you carry your joys of high school extracurriculars into your college experience. Our student organization opportunities range from academic, cultural, religious societies to various arts and performance troops. Are those not for you? Not a problem. You can look at club and intramural sports, esports, and one of our many civic engagement clubs based on the environment, community service, social justice, as well as Spectrum, which is our LGBTQ plus student run organization. We have an activities fair in the fall, which is an amazing day on campus where everyone gathers to learn about our club offerings and to meet students who are involved in so many ways. Our final number is 195,000. 
This is the number of St. John's living alumni in our network, which continues to grow strong. You can join the likes of top cop Ray Kelly, legendary basketball coach Lou Carnesecca, or if you're into laughs, you can watch Sal Volcano's show in Practical Jokers. Or if music is your thing, listen to some J. Cole. He graduated magna cum laude in 2007 with communications. Now, while this number may not seem important to you now, it will be of tremendous value to you down the road. Our alumni, 80% of whom live in the New York metropolitan area, appreciate the education they received here at St. John's and look to pay it forward with partnerships through our career center. You stand to reap that benefit when seeking internship and employment opportunities. Now, moving on to our academics. We like to say we major in options with over 100 undergraduate programs to choose from. So what's a vital question to ask yourself when searching for your best fit school? Do they have my major? Or do they have a strong liberal arts program? The reality is that not all students begin college knowing what they want to do beyond graduation. And I'm here to tell you that's okay. Although some have chosen an area of study, you're not required to declare a major until the end of your sophomore year. By taking that pressure off, you're free to explore your options through our 39 credit university core curriculum. These are required classes that will lay the foundation for a well-rounded education. Class offerings include your math, history, science, English, public speaking, philosophy, theology, and first year seminar. For your awareness, you can often place out of various core curriculum classes using the AP, IB, or college credits you earned in high school. We proudly offer 50 dual degree programs, which are designed to provide highly motivated, qualified students the opportunity to complete a bachelor's degree with a master's option in five years. You can apply to this program in your junior year. A minimum GPA is required to apply, and that number varies based on your chosen major. We also offer a university honors program and the Thomas J. Cox honors program for the Tobin College of Business. Students are invited to participate in these programs based on an assessment of their overall academic record, which will include their GPA, the strength of their high school coursework and standardized test scores if they're submitted. All students are automatically reviewed upon applying to St. John's. Some of the benefits of being in the honors program is you're provided with a challenging offering of core curriculum courses, and they are generally discussion-based. You engage with subject matters a bit more deeply and within smaller than average class sizes. Students are also presented with exclusive events, travel, and research opportunities. Now let's talk a little bit about our colleges and areas of study. Our College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences focuses on educating the next generation of healthcare professionals to care for people. As you may know, there is a national need for professionals equipped to work with diverse populations. While educating the heart and the mind, we prepare students for the challenges ahead. A sampling of our most popular majors are our Direct Admit Six-Year Doctor of Pharmacy program, direct admit four-year Bachelor of Science in Nursing program, as well as our biomedical sciences, clinical laboratory sciences, radiologic sciences, and toxicology majors. Opening in the fall of 2024 is the St. Vincent's Health Sciences Center, which will include cutting edge technology to support the growth of our current health sciences programs, along with new and emerging fields of study. St. John's College of Liberal Arts is where you learn to think critically, creatively, and analytically, all through a broad-based foundation of knowledge and skills. It's the home of our fine arts majors, humanities majors, history, social sciences, natural sciences, and math majors. You'll also find our communication, marketing, and media majors as well. Here, you'll have the option to focus on what interests you now or discover new passions. With 32 majors and 40 minors and many dual degree options to choose from, you'll actually have an opportunity to create an education that's best suited for reaching your goals. In our Collins College of Professional Studies, we like to refer to this school as a launch pad for our innovators, entrepreneurs, explorers, and problem solvers. 
We prepare you for careers in emerging and highly specialized professions. Through challenging curriculums enriched with a balance of a solid liberal arts foundation, internships, community service, international study programs, you'll also have access to the many centers and labs, which are a series of innovative workspaces that were developed to support academic and experiential learning. Some of our most popular majors include legal studies, criminal justice, sports management, computer science and cybersecurity, and communication arts. In our School of Education, we prepare our students for the changing needs within the world of education. With a great emphasis, again, on experiential learning, we prepare you with the cultural competencies needed to teach in today's diverse school systems. All of our programs lead to New York State certification. Mm -hmm. Our most popular majors include childhood education and adolescent education. And you can pursue one of our many five-year pathway programs to dual certification, such as literacy and special ed. For certain, you'll leave St. John's with a resume, not just a transcript. The Peter J. Tobin College of Business offers you a business-focused education that is experiential, entrepreneurial, and global, all of which prepares you to compete in an increasingly demanding job market. Tobin strongly focuses on career readiness and marketplace competencies by providing career services as early as your freshman year. Our strong alumni network and corporate partnerships has led to 80% of internship partners extending full-time employment offers to our student interns. Some of our most popular majors include accounting, finance, economics, interdisciplinary business, marketing, management, and the Greenberg School of Risk Management, Insurance and Actuarial Science is a global leader in risk and insurance education and training. All of our business and accounting programs are accredited by the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business, which is a distinction held by only 5% of schools. Well, we reviewed how students thrive while they're here. Now let's touch on career planning and beyond. Each academic college provides you with a career counselor for your specific academic major. Plus, our Career Services Center is focused on supporting you with finding internships, accessing employment fairs, resume writing assistance, mock interviews. Here is a sampling of some of our top employers and internship partners who seek out our students for open opportunities in their companies. You'll be happy to know that the advocacy of our Career Center extends well beyond your graduation. You'll be happy to know that the advocacy of our Career Center extends well beyond your graduation. So you'll have the benefit of these services as you continue down your career path. Now we all know that when we're shopping for goods and services, we look to reviews and recommendations from others. Well, I'm happy to report that 95.8% of our students would recommend attending St. John's University. That says it all. Now let's talk about the nitty gritty and how it is that you can go ahead and apply to St. John's University. Well, it's easy and free to apply to St. John's and no fee waiver is needed. Our fall 2024 application is open both on the Common App and our St. John's University website. Here is a listing of our various admission plans along with deadlines and notification estimates. You should know that we are a test optional university. 72% of our 2023 applicants did not submit test scores. When you do apply test optional, we look more heavily at your high school transcript and course rigor, and we do recommend submitting supplemental information such as an essay, letters of recommendation, and an activity sheet. That helps us gain a better understanding of who you are as a person. If you choose to submit test scores, please know that we do super score. Generally, our minimum requirements for admission are a cumulative average of an 85 or 3.0 and an SAT score of 1070 and an ACT score of 22. The average grades for our fall 2023 applicants was a cumulative average of 91, uh, which was a 3.7 GPA and an SAT score of 1230 and an ACT of 27. 
Here is a listing of our various admission plans along with deadlines and notification estimates. You should know that we are a test optional university. 72% of our 2023 applicants did not submit test scores. When you do apply test optional, we look more heavily at your high school transcript and course rigor. And we do recommend submitting supplemental information such as an essay, letters of recommendation, and an activity sheet. That helps us to gain a better understanding of who you are as a person. So if you do choose to submit test scores, please know that we do super score. Generally, our minimum requirements for admission are a cumulative average of an 85, which would be a 3.0 GPA, an SAT score of 1070, and an ACT score of 22. Most importantly, I'd love to tell you to use your application to introduce your great self to us. Be authentic. We love to read your essays and hear about your extracurriculars and life experiences as those really speak to who you are. You're all more than just a GPA or a standardized test score. Do keep in mind that we receive tens of thousands of applications, so be thoughtful in selecting your essay subject and really share a piece of yourself with us. St. John's is genuinely interested in learning about you and what you stand to offer our community. Do note that if you're applying to our pharmacy program, you're also required to submit a pharmacy specific essay, two letters of recommendation of which one must be from a math or science teacher, a resume of extracurricular activities and a pharmacy technical standards form. And if you're applying for our bio DO, and bio-optometry programs, you are required to submit test scores. Now let's look at our tuition and financial aid. Our total listed tuition of 48,500 is not including university fees and without any scholarships or financial aid. Now, the great news is that 99% of our students do receive some form of financial aid with an average package of about 50%. Students often find that with financial aid, the tuition cost can come down to an amount comparable to a SUNY school. And I ask you, where in New York City would you be able to live in a doorman building with an unlimited meal plan for $19,900? Well, it's right here at St. John's. Very important, to be considered for non-merit aid, you are required to complete the FAFSA application. Be sure to include our FAFSA code 002823 and your social security number on your application. You can anticipate receiving your financial aid package in mid-February. Keep in mind, we do not accept the CSS profile um, and our housing deposits are due by May 1st. We do offer payment plans, financing, and student work study opportunities are available to those who, students who do qualify. Now let's look at our institutional scholarship and award opportunities. You are automatically considered for merit scholarships upon submitting your application to St. John's. You'll also have the opportunity to indicate specific information to be eligible for our high, Catholic High School Scholarship, Service, College Advantage, and Future Johnny Awards, as well as our engagement grant. Our application-based scholarships include the Catholic Student Award, which is for incoming Catholic students our application-based scholarships include the Catholic Student Award, which is for incoming Catholic students, and it must be indicated on your initial admission application, and you must submit a separate application and an essay. Our Ozanam Scholars Scholarship, our Ozanam Scholars Program is a highly selective program. Our Ozanam Scholars Program is a highly selective program for those who are passionate about social justice and community service. For consideration, you must commit to an extensive amount of community service, a minor in social justice, you must live on campus freshman year, you're required to study abroad, and participate in a capstone research project. We also have our Catholic Scholars Program, which is for Catholic students who are passionate about their faith and strive to be leaders in their religious communities. Interviews for the two Scholars Programs begin around March, and recipients usually are selected around the beginning of April, and we typically notify you of your award before accepted Students' Day in April. Scholarships and awards can be stacked, except for Ozanam and Catholic Scholars Program Awards. You can apply for both, 
but we'll have to select only one to enroll in. Next, let's review some important dates you'll want to notate as you go through your application process. Here is a general overview of some important dates you'll want to mark your calendars. The Common App and the St. John's application open in August. Our open houses are October 14th and November 5th. We have the FAFSA application opening in December. And our scholarship applications are due in by January 31st of 2024. Accepted Students Day is April 13th. And Decision Day is May 1st. I want to thank you again for joining me for this information session. Also, if you scan the QR code on the screen, you can gain access to our... Also, if you scan the QR code on the screen, you can gain access to our admissions counselors pages on our website. I'd like to thank you again for joining me for this information session, and I look forward to welcoming you to St. John's University for a campus visit.